What is up guys, Code Row 29 is back with a brand new video. In today's video, we're doing part four to our beginner scripting series in 2021. You guys have been really enjoying this series and I'm gonna keep making them. Um, so yeah, let's dive right into this episode, if statements. Now, if you've ever done any programming, you probably, well, possibly have heard of if statements. And if you haven't, that's okay. If statements are extremely important in programming. Basically, if you have an if statement, uh, for example, we could say if it's day, then turn on the lights. If it's not day, turn off the light. If, I mean, if it is day, turn off the lights. If it's night, then turn on the lights, okay? So if we have that little, um, uh, these are just conditions, right? They're conditions saying if it is day, turn off the lights, because we don't need the lights. But if it's night and it's dark, we're gonna turn on the lights. So they're condition statements, all right? So let's go into our server script service and let's insert a new script. And I'm gonna call this script, um, if script, okay? You can call it what you want, but I'm just gonna call it that. So in this episode, I'm gonna kind of combine everything that we've learned. Um, and I'm gonna say something like this. Let's first create a function, okay? So we're, we'll call this, actually, First off, let's go right into if statements, actually. I'm sorry. So we're gonna just say if, and then this can be whatever. Our script is gonna check to see if it is true or false. So we could say if one plus one ah, is equal to two, then print it is true, okay? So why do I have two equal state, or equal, equal signs so the difference here right if one plus one equals two then and if one plus one equals equals two then we're gonna get an error in one of those and i'm assuming you could probably guess that it's the one equal sign so the reason we have this is because when we have one equal sign our computer thinks that we're trying to assign something. So remember our variables, we would say uh, local cheese equals cheese. In here, when you have one equal sign, you're saying, okay, cheese, you are cheese. If you're, if you say if cheese equals equals cheese, then you're asking, is cheese equal to cheese. I know it's confusing, um, but it's it's a little bit, it's something you just got to get used to. If you're if it's an if statement, use two equal signs. So if one plus one equals two, then we know that w uh, one plus one is two. Well, I assume you guys know if you're programming. Um, so it is going to print, it is true. You can even test this out by playing it and looking into the output. Um, but basically, we're just saying, hey, is one plus one two, and if one plus one is two, which we know it is, we want you to do this. And we did print it is true, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of combine everything we've learned so far. I'm gonna delete, actually, we can keep this. Um, and I'm just gonna create a function, okay? We're gonna say function, uh, let's call count, okay? And then let's do, num1 comma num2 so we're gonna use our new function knowledge here so remember our parameters yeah let's go ahead and call count over here num1 or we're gonna set num1 to 1 and num2 also to 1 okay so we're just calling the function count and we're setting it to 1 and 1 and here we'll just say if num1 plus num2 equals equals two then so we're saying if parameter one plus parameter two is equal to two the number two then um and here we have the numbers one and one so one num one one plus num two which is, we also set to one is equal to two so it should if we say print uh num one plus num2 is, uh, or let's just say e equals 2. We should, if we play the game, see num1 plus num2 equals 2, 2, right? 
because, yep, num1 plus num2 equals 2, because it does equal 2. Those are the specific parameters that we passed. What if we had passed 1 and 2, though? Because 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Now what do you think is going to happen? Well, it shouldn't print anything about uh, number 1 and number 2. So if we look into our output, there is nothing about, well, this is our old one. And because it was not true, it's not going to print num1 plus num2 is equal to 2. I know this is a little confusing, but you'll get it eventually. So now I'm going to say uh, if 3 plus 3 is equal to 4, then we know that 3 plus 3 is not equal to 4, right? 3 plus 3 is 6. So we're going to say print 3 ah, plus 3 is equal to 4. But here's, here's something new. We can say else print 3 plus 3 is not equal not equal to 4. So what is an else statement? Well, else is basically saying if this doesn't work, so if in this case it's 3 plus 3 is equal to 4, so if it's not 3 plus 3 is equal to 4, if 3 plus 3 is not equal to 4, we're going to print whatever is inside of the else block, okay? You can think of these as blocks, right? Here's our if block. If 3 plus 3 is 4, then we will print 3 plus 3 equals 4. Otherwise, we'll print 3 plus 3 is not equal to 4. Okay, so it, I know it can be a little confusing, but let's go ahead and play this. Because 3 plus 3 is not equal to 4, we should see in the output 3... Whoa, that was a lot of prints. My game's lagging, bro. This is... Okay, let's scroll down. 3 plus 3 is not equal to 4. Because it's not, and we said that. So, uh... Let's try something else. There is one more block that we can use that's called else if. And else if has to be in between the if and the else. Okay? And else if also needs a condition like the if does. So we can say, all right, if it's not three, if three plus three is not four, let's try something else. If three plus three is equal to six, then, right? And now we can put anything in here, right? We can say, print 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, right? Because we're saying if 3 plus 3 is 4, then we'll print 3 plus 3 is 4. But otherwise, if 3 plus 3 is 6, then we'll print 3 plus 3 is 6. Anything else, we'll just say any other thing, if it's any number except for 6 and 4, because we didn't say that, it's going to print 3 plus 3 is not equal to 4 or 6, okay? What do you think, based on this math and the if statements, what do you think is going to print? You can pause the video and check it out. Well, let's see. So I'm going to play this game, and I'm going to... Look, look, look. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Because, yeah, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So we said else if... If 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, then we'll do whatever's in this block and not inside of the else block, okay? And then this end is here to just uh, let us know that that is the end of our if statement and we can just continue on. We can also do this with variables like we started to do earlier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, say uh, local... What am I going to say local oh epic scripting channel equals code bro 29 i know that was cheesy sorry guys okay and then we can have an if statement saying if epic scripting channel whoops is equal to code bro 29 right then so it's, this time it's not a number we've set it to a string so we can print, whoops, sorry, we can just go ahead and print epic scripting channel. So what do you think this is going to print? Do you think it'll, wh what do you think this will print? So hopefully you said it would print code bar 29. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, it's printing code bar 29 because the epic scripting channel that we said, epic scripting channel is code bar 29, right? Here, let me just scroll up so you can see. 
um, it is Code Bro 29. And I said, if it is Code Bro 29, which it is, we can go ahead and print what that epic script, what we said the epic scripting channel is, okay? We're gonna do one more if statement because I want to show you. Remember in our um, in our variable script where we uh, had three different types of variables. We had a string, we had a number, and we also had true and false. We can do that with if statements too. Too. So we can say uh, local. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear the output real quick. If you don't know how to do that, just right click and click clear output. Okay, and then we can say um, local. Uh, I am eating equals false because I'm not eating right now. Well, I guess you never know, but I'll tell you for a fact I'm not eating right now. Maybe the time I'm watching, I'm eating. Anyway, we don't have to get into that. <laughs> um, we can say if I am eating is equal to false, then actually let's say if it's true, if I am eating, then we're gonna print, then we'll go ahead and print I am eating. And then we can say else, print, I am not eating. So maybe you're wondering, why do I not have an else if? Because bools are true or false, and that's it. So if it's not true, anything else, any other answer for a bool will be false. Okay? If it's true or false, it will, if it's not true, it's going to be false in a bool. Okay? If it's not false, it's going to be true. So what do you think that this is going to print? Well, hopefully you said it'll print I am not eating because we have set I am eating equal to false. Um, so hopefully you said that. If not, don't like I like I say all the time, don't even worry about it. I know it's this is a lot when you start scripting, it doesn't make sense always. But if you said it's gonna print false, great job. You have understood if statements. So make sure to play around here, let me just give you an example. I am not eating. There we go, it says it right there. I am not eating. And I am not, unless I'm eating at the time you're watching this video. Which is actually possible. I like eating. Okay, so that's it. As soon as my lag goes away, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe. According to YouTube, like 93% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, which is kind of insane. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button right, on, right here on the screen. It really helps me a lot. Um, and if you... Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome, and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Play around with if statements, do your own, see what you can come up with, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.